you're meeting with us today. We thank God that we have another service for we magnify the Lord Jesus Christ. This uh, message is going out on video, and you never know who might turn in and see that. And we're thankful for the members of our church and friends who are here. Uh, we're here to magnify the Lord Jesus Christ and elevate Him. This is a verse that we use many times. This is good and accept the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. There is but one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all. The word ransom means a price was paid. And the price that was paid for our redemption is the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says without shedding of blood, there's no remission, there's no forgiveness. The blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanses from all sin. So if you're here today, as a member of our church or as a friend who has come to be here, you want to make sure that you know Christ is your Savior. Not just know about Him. You know the day and the time you ask Him to come into your heart and be your Savior. Admitting, I'm lost. The Bible says all have sinned and come short. I've missed the mark. All of us have. Without Jesus Christ, we're all under the Adamic curse. The Bible says... That Jesus came, that he might die on that cross and shed his blood. On that third day rise again, it's called the gospel. The word gospel means good news. And the good news is that God is not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. And we thank God that one day someone told me about Jesus. We're here today to elevate and magnify the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to just introduce some folks. We have Brother Scotty Drake and his, his wife, Barbara. About 40, maybe close to 50 years, 50 years ago, he started Health Ministries. Amen. He talked to Dr. Lee, Lee Robertson, who used to be our pastor. He said, uh, what do you think about me trying to get some of the national pastors to come over? And he said, go for it. And so how long has it been in existence, Scotty? How long? Sorry. Have any? 30, 30. 30 years. And I, I don't know how many missionaries have been reached through that message and through the, uh, the ministry, the uh, health ministries, but we thank God for it. And we thank God for each of you. You know the Lord Jesus Christ is your Savior. You're the body of Christ. The Bible says we're members in particular. And each one of you are special. And you're the type of person who gives your time, your talents, your treasure back to God to carry on the work of God. We thank God for that. Thank God for your faithfulness. We thank God for your loyalty to the Lord. So we're here to magnify the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're going to ask that Brother Pierre come up and lead us in a song as we start our service today. We're, we're here to elevate and magnify Christ. We'll be having maybe some special music. we have people testifying and sharing as we magnify that precious name. This is good and accept the sight of God our Savior. Listen, He wants everyone to be saved, but not everyone will be saved. Some people do not, will not come to Him. They don't love that name. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let this mind be in you, which also was in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, though did not rob be equal with God, He made Himself of no reputation, and took upon himself the form of a servant, was made in the likeness of men, and being found in fashion of man, he humbled himself, and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We're here to hear. Magnify the Lord, and thank you for your faith. Brother, can you bear a this? Greater is he that is in me.
We can do better. Here we go. Let's praise the Lord. Here we go again on the same song. Ready? Greater is He that is in me. Greater is He that is in me. Greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world. Amen. That was great. Across the page, don't close your book. Springs of living water. That's what the Lord Jesus promised when we come to Him. 244. I thirsted in the barren land of sin and shame, and nothing satisfied there I found. But through the blessed cross of Christ one day I came, which brings a living water in a crowd. Everybody now, drinking at the springs of living water.
And George, and how many, how many, I don't want to take any of your thunder, but I want the people to know exactly what we're doing. How many churches have you started? Uh, more than a hundred. More than a hundred. Wow. You could start, I want you to see this. Uh, Brother George, you wasn't doing that kind of stuff until you met us. Mm -hmm. And they begin to see what we're doing. And we go over there, and we go over there, and the reason we go is so that we can come back and tell you what they're doing. That's right. And it's because you helped me, this church helps me, that I've been able to travel all around the world many, many times, and uh, God is blessed. But to show you what you folks did 22 years ago, yes. you start, huh? Yes, 22 years ago. Well, 23 years ago, you start helping him. Now then, he's responsible for building over 100 churches. That's right. They're training them. That means all those churches you folks are getting your coupons. Huh? You understand? Every time you start a work, every time people get saved, this church gets to tear off a coupon in bed. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. I praise God for you. And I do thank the Lord for you, Brother Steve. God bless you for helping your dad like that. And uh, when, when you get our age, we need our boys to help you. Don't, don't be <laughs> there. Uh, I'm kidding. He's a young fellow, really. <clears throat> He's a year older than me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you for thank you for all that you're doing. And folks, let me tell you something. All these things that you're doing, helping up these people, helping our national. If it wasn't for people like you, we couldn't do it. Because of people like you, we're able to spread out to churches all around that's got on board with us and we have over a thousand churches, but because of people like you putting these guys up and we've got a place for them to stay, that means you're helping all these people around here. Churches, you're helping other churches. You're not just doing it for Valor Avenue. You're doing it for other churches too because we're, if, I don't know, we do something, surely somebody would, but they put it on your preacher's heart to make a place to where we can have these people, where we can spread out and give the gospel uh, all around. So we thank you. God bless you for letting me be here. And we're looking forward to Brother George. I want you to preach up, Brother George. Okay? <laughs> all right. Okay. They're used to preaching. They're used to preaching. Theron's a preacher. <laughs> so you got, you got to preach. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs>
Praise the Lord. 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 Bwana asifiwe. Say amen. Amen. To say Bwana asifiwe is in Swahili. Praise the Lord. Praise amen. 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 Um, because of time, uh, maybe I'll be because of the time. Now, um, I want to thank God that um, I am here for the second time. 22 years ago, I came and met my brother, uh, Tuni. And really, God helped me to have him as my, not only a pastor, but uh, my brother. 21, 23 years ago, I joined the Help Ministries. And let me say something about Help Ministries. I had served some other 25 years area with another group. But when I met Health Ministries, I understood its biblical philosophy and I met my brother, Dr. Scott Drill, a strong man of God with a vision to touch the world with the word of God. I told God, thank you, because all the time I had spent doing the work of God, yes, but when I joined the health ministries, I found a ministry that its role is to put on the shoulders of nationals the work of the Great Commission. That means you be responsible of what you are doing in your preaching, in your teachings, in your discipleship, and all that. And therefore, for the last 22 years, God has helped me to uh, reach and train preachers. One, about a hundred churches have been opened. That is the work, my work, because when we go to all the health ministries in East Africa, we have more than 400 churches because we have some other preachers. Amen. But uh, the work that I do, more than 100 churches have been uh, started. 60 of them have been built. When I say they have been built, some are built with mud. Others have tea on their walls. Yeah. Few are uh, with the stones like my church which is Eldred Baptist Church. Eldred Baptist Church was formed back in 1975, registered with the government of Kenya in 1976 and I started or I took over as the pastor in 1979 from one of the Bible Baptist missionaries, Tommy Moore. Amen. And therefore, from that church, um, 2001, May 21, I started Liberty Baptist Bible College. Hey. Liberty Baptist Bible College has trained more than 400 preachers. Amen. They are scattered in East Africa. When you see that map of our ministry, my ministry, uh, it is stressed in seven countries of Amen. East Amen. and Central Africa. Amen. Brother Scott Drake has come. We have visited him not only in Kenya, but in Uganda, in Congo. He has witnessed what health ministries is doing. Praise the Lord. And therefore, uh, this time, I'm happy uh, to be with you. 
and to uh, just share something that God has put in my heart um, for that short time I want us to go to Hebrews chapter 12 Hebrews chapter 12 I want us to read from verses 1 and 2 and before we go to 1 and 2 we go up there in 11 chapter 11 we start reading from uh, chapter, chapter 11 we start reading from from verse that is that is 6 of chapter 11 we are to go to chapter 12 after reading chapter 11 verses that 36 to 40 it is to open our mind and see what God is doing to us even right now my message is A journey is set before us. A journey is set before us. Or a race is set before us. I want to use some few words that maybe you can understand because our pronunciation sometimes is not good. <laughs> so from 36 of chapter 11 of Hebrews, the Bible says, and others had the trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yeah, moreover of boats and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were shown asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword, they wandered about in sheep sheepskins and goat skin, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts, in the mountains, in dens, in caves of the earth. Number 39 and 34, 39 and 40, I want you to uh, point there. And these all, having obtained a good report, through faith, received not the promise. Number 14, God having provided some better things for us. I want you to repeat that. God provided a better thing for us. Can we say it together? God provided some better things for us. Amen. So, it is said that without without them they without us should not be made perfect or complete. Okay, let's go to verse 1 and verse 2 of 12. What does it say? Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with great a crowd of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Two, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to thank you, I want to bless you. Speak, O oh God, these things. May thy Holy Spirit, Lord, help. These few things I have learned to be clearly interpreted in the hearts of our people. 
I thank you, I bless you. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So, um, before us, a list is set before us. In chapter 11 of Hebrews, you know, it's about the heroes of faith. Heroes of faith. And um, our people, or those Christians, those heroes who did do the work of God, time came when they were to ask God, when are you to give us thy promises? When are you to come? We have heard that though they had qualified to go to heaven that time, amen, yeah. they had all the right to go during their time. And most of them were asking, when are we to go? The Bible is very clear there that that night, this all having obtained a good report before the Lord. They have obtained a good report. Praise the Lord. Most of us here, before God, we have obtained good report. We have an example of our brother, Dr. Scott. We have a, 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 an example of our brother, Pastor Tuning, and others. Even some other brothers, those I met here, 22 years. If a report can be asked, they can be given a good right that, yes, they have obtained a good report as the others. But because of the good problem of God for us, good management of God in his problem for us, at this time, that we are here. God has a purpose for us. God has a good work for us. And that is why we are here. That is why God has kept our brother, and even our brother, Dr. Scott, and men like him, because the few words he has shared here, here, the Spirit of God has shown me, he is a person with a background of doing the work of God. I just have seen him some minutes. But the Spirit of God has shown me that behind him, behind him, there's work he has done. God bless you. The Bible says, even had obtained that good report. And through faith, received not the promise. Number 14, God having provided some better thing for us. Amen. Better things for us. That they without us, hallelujah, they without us, they without you. <laughs> Amen. should not, without us, should not be made perfect. They are still there. We have said goodbye to many of our fellow Christians. I have witnessed barriers of great preachers in Kenya who we have preached not less than 40 years they have gone. I remember last year, I went to preside over a burial of one of our, my, our pastors. And he is laying there in, the cup, in that box. And I stood behind that and I told him, Dr. Kiyagiri, you are gone before me. Do not come to me quickly because I have work to do. Praise the Lord. I told him, rest in peace. 
Don't come to me, I have work to, 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 to do. I didn't have a schedule to come to America, but God has a plan for me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because God has provided a good time for us. Therefore, the race that is behind, before us, or the journey that is before us, we are told in chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Amen. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which do so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Praise the Lord. There is a race before us. And we have to go. We have to patiently go. Amen. 22 years ago, when I was with the health ministries in different areas, Brother Scott Drake took us to uh, North Carolina. There were some mountains there, Mount Pisgah, and we were to cry there. But today, I don't want to cry. I have prayed there. <laughs> But the Lord has given me time to train preachers, to, dis to disciple preachers, to help open churches, to help even open our Bible schools. Next year, generally, we have a Bible school to open, but I cannot climb those mountains. But I am able to walk. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because God has given us an opportunity, a time to do the work. Disciples, ask me Jesus, when are you to come? When are those things to happen? And Jesus told them, be aware that people should not deceive you. People should not cheat you. Because there are many, many, many preachers there are many, many, many prophets all over. Those who are preaching uh, gospel of rich richness, but let abide in this book. This book is to help us to meet our Jesus. It is to help us do the work of the Great Commission. Go and preach. Teach and fellowship. And that's why we are here, to, to, to fellowship and to share what God wants us to do. Please, you are invited to come to Kenya, to come to Africa and join us. And to come to Africa, you may not go to the airplane. You may not want to go to uh, and be in the airplane. But whatever God can provide in you. One or whatever, it will be part of the ministry that God has given us. This church has touched many, many, many areas. Health ministries today is in more than 70 countries, and more than 600 preachers are being supported through the health ministries. I want to ask, I, know, I want to ask, please let us come to Africa to do the work of the ministry. Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to thank you. I want to bless you. Because of that short message I can share with the church. My God, my Father, I pray that the Holy Spirit, O Lord, may help our dear Christians that, Lord, they may know and have the compassion for them to take their biblical position in the mission work, for them to help reach the unreached and the work that is before us to do. I thank you, God, for the privilege to share thy word, O oh God, in this prophet. In Jesus' name I pray and trust. Amen. Amen. Amen.
We're so thankful for each of you being with us today. We thank God for your faithfulness. 